And now, from the Career Tech Studios in Stillwater, here's your host, Rob McClendon. Well, technology and globalization have changed the way many of us work. Newly developed nations like China and India have added literally hundreds of millions of workers to the global labor pool, producing many of the same products we do in the West, but at just a fraction of the cost. But one area where such global competition is lessened is in the service industries. You can't get your heater fixed or your car repaired by someone from overseas. Today, we begin our show with a look at some industries that have grown increasingly complicated as well as increasingly lucrative and show you why they're representative of changes in our economy. And we start off at a unique classroom where students are learning auto mechanics through a national competition. Joining me now from Eastern Oklahoma Technology Center is our Lisa Hines. Well, Rob, I'm here in Choctaw where students are taking automotive repair to a whole new level, learning not only valuable skills, but also competing with students from across the nation. Two. A nut here, a bolt there. It's a race to the finish. Jim LaFevers is the automotive instructor at Eastern Oklahoma County Tech Center. Come on, guys. Plug wires right. It's an engine build contest from air cleaner down to a bare block with the crank left in it and back up. Best time wins, and the students do too. It's what we do. Um, it gets kids scholarship money. Uh, these kids have already won $5,000 each already. Uh, last place out there at this contest is $4,000. First place is $10,000, and that's each individual kid. That gives them a jump start for their career, their education, and going into the automotive field. And for the kid who loves cars? I think it's sweet. Lucas Fry is an automotive student and says it's all about teamwork. Oh, teamwork's very important. Uh, without teamwork, that motor would still be sitting in pieces right now. You know, just nobody working together would just be, you know, wouldn't get done. Well, everybody's got a specific job to do, and everybody's got to work together to get a goal done. You notice they all have to communicate with each other, they have to talk to each other, and they have to make sure that they know what each other's doing. In the automotive field, you're always asking for someone's help because it's a lot of times it's a two-person job doing two different things. If you can't have teamwork, you can't be successful in this program. Now the end result is to help these students get their foot in the door and headed in the right direction. All said and done, they all ought to have a job. That's going to be my job to put them all to work. Um, they can go get their college degree and get started on an automotive degree. In today's world, if they don't have an automotive degree, they fall way behind. This is a jump start towards their career at higher pay. It's a fast-paced competition with lifetime application. Now these students just returned from Las Vegas where they had a showdown with students from around the nation. So tell me a little bit more about this competition. Well, Rob, it's a three-day competition where the students had to tear down the engine and then build it back up each day. They combined their times minus any penalties to see who won. After 18 builds altogether, there were only four perfect engines, and theirs was one of them. So they finished fourth in the nation. And to show just how competitive this contest is, the team that beat them did so by only five and a half minutes. So what happens from here? Frankly, Rob, well-paying jobs. But before that, more education because the skills required of these students go well beyond the shade tree mechanic. All right, thank you so much, Elisa. You're welcome, Rob.